One winter's night in Sudbury Town, across the meadows, bare and brown, the windows of the wayside inn gleamed red with firelight through the leaves. Longfellow's Wayside Inn is home to America's most romantic haunt. The ghost of a woman who still pines away, waiting for her lover to return from across the sea, is experienced throughout the building. It is said she only focuses her attention on the men who sleep in her bedroom, something we'll put to the test during our lockdown. This is going to be a first. In 1862, the poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow wrote a collection of poems inspired by the Howe Tavern in Sudbury, Massachusetts. These tales of a wayside inn so captured the public's imagination that the Howe Tavern changed its name to Longfellow's Wayside Inn. The inn originally opened for business in 1716 by David Howe, and by the early 1800s, four generations of Howes had lived on these grounds. And though the family no longer operates the inn, the presence of one member remains, Jerusha Howe, a lonely spirit eternally searching for her long lost love. She was known as the Belle of Sudbury, considered the most beautiful woman in town. She was very well thought of in the town of Sudbury. And she was known for being a very fine piano player. But it was one particular guest, a young Englishman, who captured Jerusha's heart. During his extended stay at the inn, the two fell in love. And though he was summoned back to England, he promised Jerusha he'd quickly return. A young man she, she met here who was a seaman went was away, a, a, a seaman, a, a, a man of the, um, you might call merchant marine today. Okay. So Jer Jerusha uh, fell in love to a seaman, and this uh, seaman... Um, a sailor, then. Okay, let's, yeah, let's do a sailor. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the... Spit it out, boys, spit it out. <laughs> Come on, you can say it. <laughs> Where are you guys from? <laughs> <laughs> So she fell in love with a sailor at, at the end, and he never and, returned. And he never returned. Who knows whether he bothered to send her any missive because mail was unreliable. So she waited for him, and she waited for him until she died. Do you know how old she was when she died? Yeah, 45 is what 45? I mean. Yeah. Why so young? People do apparently die of a broken heart. Now, can I ask you something? Is it true that some of the guests here claim to have experiences with Jerusha? A lot of guests in room 9 and 10. Rooms 9 and 10 were the living quarters for the Howe family. Okay. They weren't rooms that were rented. 9 is where her bedroom was, and 10 was where her sewing room was. So let me ask you. You have a wife, mm -hmm. and you came and slept in this room once, right? Right, right here. Did you have an experience in this bed? Uh, yes, uh, it was about two o'clock in the morning and an arm went around me and I, I could feel it go across my back and then I realized, wait a minute, who is this? And I jumped up and I looked and at the side of the bed was a clear impression. Darkness has fallen upon us and right now, I have a date with Jerusha. I really am getting locked down in a location where a lot of male guests have had intimate encounters with a female spirit named Jerusha. You think she's gonna like me? She only shows to certain people, so if you're lucky enough. I brought my Vegas charm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guy, let us out at dawn, all right? I'll be sure to be here. If I fall in love, you might just be letting Aaron and Nick out. See you in the morning. Okay. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a sweep with a thermal imaging camera. This camera sees in temperature, and I really love it because it doesn't pick up shadows, so you won't see any of our reflections off of any drywall or anything like that. Whoa. Whoa. That was loud.
Whoa. Got to remember, this is an inn that's hundreds of years old. You know, we only know some of the history, but there's no telling what went undocumented. And that's when there's a recipe for a lot of trapped spirits, trapped souls. Anybody in here? Jerusha, I want you to sing for me. Oh my God. What? Whoa. Billy, are you getting anything in Jerusha's room? I just saw like a white dress move from his door frame. No, nothing. It was like a lady saw me, and as soon as I saw her, like walked away, but I still saw her dress flow. You know what I mean? And it's getting freezing right here, coming down here. Do you have a millimeter? Wow. 68 degrees, 67 degrees, down to 64. Look at 64. 63, down to 61. I just documented a seven degree temperature drop with a 0.4 milligauss reading right where I saw the white dress. This Mel meter not only detected a seven degree temperature drop within seconds, but it also registered spikes of electromagnetic energy, something ghosts are said to be made up of. Both of these measurements may have picked up on what I just saw. Give me a recorder, please. Did I see you, Jerusha, at the top of the staircase? And are you standing here with me? I just went up to 72. This, this is crazy, I've never seen this. It's going from 72 to 62, nonstop, up and down, up and down. I can feel just ice cold on both of my hands. I can't move. Are you holding my hands? Did you hear me play music for you? At this moment, we catch an electronic voice phenomenon, better known as a spirit voice on my digital recorder. And what's ironic is as I'm feeling a loving presence around me, this female voice is saying something flirtatious in relation to our appearance. Did you hear me play music for you? I am your lost love. If I can get that experience, that evidence, that encounter, I'll go along with what they want. And if she wants love, I'll give it to her. Now we're going to set up our full spectrum camera up in Jerusha's bedroom to see if what I just saw on the staircase may have been Jerusha returning to her room. Because full spectrum cameras see in all spectrums of light, the quality of video isn't as crisp as just a single spectrum camera. Right now we're gonna give this a shot, this PX device. Spirits can manipulate this word database and choose different words and create their own using phonemes by using their electromagnetic energy. I'm just gonna walk around and see if we, if our bodies pick up on that energy, you know, the goosebumps, and if we do, we're gonna try and see if we can almost train that spirit to use this device. Ow. The chair in the middle of the room. Jesus. Come on, play. Anything yet. While we aren't receiving any voices on the PX device, right now over on the other side of the building in Jerusha's room, our full spectrum camera is capturing something astounding. This white mist figure manifests in the center of the room and you can clearly make out its head, shoulders, body, in what looks to be a flowing dress. And we have no idea what we've just captured as we now head over to that very same room. Jerusha? Can you use this device and talk to us, please? What if I put this on the bed? Jerusha, can you talk to us? Nothing, man. But that's how it works. It's hit and miss. It jumps up again or something. Yep. But for right now, it's kind of chill. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not only are words beginning to come through the PX device, but right in front of me is where we captured that unexplained mist figure on our full spectrum camera, which looks like the same white dress that I also saw with my own two eyes on the staircase. Right now, it's kind of chill. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, don't. Wait. 
It just said gentle lay. Right now, it's kind of chill. Whoa, 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 whoa. What does gentle lay mean? If I lay down, what are you gonna do to me? Tickle. Tickle. <laughs> what tickle? the hell? You gonna tickle, tickle Zach? If I lay down, what are you gonna do to me? Tickle. 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 <laughs> what tickle? the hell? Jerusha. What if Nick lays down? What are you gonna do to Nick? <laughs> Affair. What if Nick lays down? What are you gonna do to Nick? Affair. Affair. Whoa, this thing. This is why we use this. I think Jerusha is a very aggressive woman. Aggressive yeah. sexual spirit. Wouldn't you be too if you were locked up in this room? This thing just said right. three things. All of it relevant. What are you gonna do to me? And then what are you gonna do if Nick lays down in bed? Because Nick's a married man. All right. You got excited when it said tickle. And gentle lay. That means only <laughs> one thing. I'm ready to go in here by myself, guys. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Aaron, you're gonna go to room 10, bro. where she, she also goes. So we're gonna see who Jerusha chooses. Me or Aaron? Probably, probably me. Aaron, I know you need some help with your game, so there's some stuff <laughs> over here. Do you want to take it with you? Yeah, might as well. Nick, while we're in here, why don't you go downstairs and just go crazy with the infrared digital still camera? Sounds good. Okay. Have fun, you guys, and uh, come out of this one, because okay. I got game. <laughs> He's the married one. All right. Got a box of chocolates from a lady ghost. Since I'm in here, might as well get comfortable. I think we'll lock it for the evening. Hello, Jerusha. I'm all alone now. I'm gonna go around and snap some pictures down here on the first floor, see if I can capture any visual. I'm gonna use the spirit box. Jerusha, are you here? What do you wanna to do to me? Gotta let you know that uh, I too have had my heart broken many times. You women can be pretty evil. But if you really wanna hang out, I'm the one to be chilling with, not the guy over there. Jerusha, is it true that you died of a broken heart? What's my name? What's my name? Jerusha, do you want to do something? Behind you? I just heard a voice say behind you, very dark voice through this, say behind you. While doing this spirit box session, I began to make an unexpected discovery. I'm hearing what sounds like two different spirits speaking back and forth. A deep, raspy man's voice and the same female voice that just called my name. Behind you? Would you like me to tell you a poem or something? Roses are red, violets are blue. Why don't you come over here and lay next to me? <laughs> it's a poem, made it up. I just heard footsteps. This shuffling sounds right over here. <gasps> Body chills going up my legs right now. Wait, are you touching me? Is that you, Jerusha? 
What? Again, I hear the same two voices talking to each other. The man with the raspy voice and the female who called my name earlier. The man says something three times, but I can only make out the second part when he asks the female spirit what she wants. See if you can make out the rest. Is that you, Jerusha? My legs are tingling right now. Jerusha, are you in here? What kind of what kind of man were you waiting for? You were just sitting here waiting for a seaman, huh? That's a guy from the sea that's a probably military or boater. Not what you're thinking. Oh, it gets me every time. I just felt my legs started tingling. Now it's gone. Alright, I just wanted to mark and stopped the spirit box. I saw something over here, and then that's when something, I can't say like in between my legs, but somebody put two hands on their legs. What I didn't know yet was what we captured on our full spectrum camera just moments before this. The tingling sensation I described, which felt like two hands on my knees, happened in this exact spot where this unexplained mist figure manifested. There's a man laying in his bed all alone. I've offered to hold you, I've offered to, even offered a kiss. Hell, I brought you chocolates. At this moment, Billy hears an unexplained voice captured on the digital recorder hanging from the ceiling above Aaron in room 10. And it sounds like a female responding to him. Even offered a kiss. Hell, I brought you chocolates. Hopefully I got some luck. Can you do me a favor and touch a part of my body right now? Wow. I just felt two taps on my right leg, like on my calf, right here. I felt that, Jerusha. I felt two taps on my leg, and I just heard my belt creak. I don't want you thinking that I came here laying in the bed for some kind of a, you know, booty call. I just wanted to experience what all these letters in here have experienced. I wanted to see and feel that for myself because this is my passion. I want to get to as close as the spirit world as I can while I'm alive to see where we go next and to see if you can still love on the other side. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, that was a crazy night. Especially for you two. Tell me what happened in room nine and 10. I remember going into the room And, uh, you know, I wanted to hear her voice. Let's start with some conversation. Let's not get right into it. It's a good way to set the mood. And as soon as I started saying Jerusha, I started hearing a female voice. I even heard my name. What's my name? Later that night, I felt like my legs were being tickled. I visualized a woman leaning over, putting two hands on top of my legs. (laughs) You know, and it's awkward just listening to you say it. And in a sick, weird way, I was really, really intrigued by it. You felt that in room 10 too? Yeah, when I was in room 10, I was I was laying there because I don't know, I was kind of telling her, like, you know, I've had a broken heart just like you and just kind of relating to her. I too have had my heart broken many times. And it all of a sudden it got really weird and it was it, it, I could feel like a sensation going up both legs mm-hmm. all the way to like right here. That's what I felt. And I was waiting for keep going, right, but it was right. like, it didn't. The tease. Yeah, it was like a tease, but then, it, but I've never felt that. And it wasn't like, it was like a cold chill, but it was just, it was random how everything think, worked out 
exactly how I act. It was a very loving feeling. I didn't want to leave the room. I felt like I was being teased. And in all honesty, I wanted more. I want to write my letter, and I feel like just by last night at the lockdown, my letter's not complete. Maybe you got a ghost fetish. Well, I know that we're not leaving till tomorrow, so guys, I'm staying in room nine tonight. You serious? You going back there? <laughs> Those cameras aren't allowed. <laughs> Damn.